Well, I've had this apart because I was installing this and while I'm this boost gauge. So look at the previous video if you want to see how I did that. But uh, while I had this apart, I figured I should check an issue that I've got. And I'm wondering, I have one idea of what may be wrong with it, but uh, let me tell you what's going on. So through the, through the winter, uh, all of a sudden, and it, and it just happened all of a sudden, that uh, any position you put this, this is your temperature control, any position you put it in, uh, it was like max heat, except for if you clicked it over to max cold. So you've got these two indents, this one, you hear it, that's max cold, then you have max heat. Anything else should be variable, and it was not. And so what I think may be the issue, uh, normally if you had the heater stuck on and it was still stuck on if you went to max cold, then it would be an issue with the mono valve. But since when you click it over to max cold, the mono valve closes off and you, you're not getting heat anymore, to me that proves that the mono valve itself is working. But what I'm thinking is this thing has a temperature sensor right here for the climate control. And I think for some reason there may be an issue here that it thinks it's like negative 50 degrees outside or some kind of, you know, just crazy cold temperature that it, it blasts the heat no matter what. You know, that it's even on you know, this setting here, which would probably be, you know, I, I don't, I'm not going to do the conversion, but, you know, 18 degrees Celsius, it thinks it's, you know, you know, zero degrees Celsius outside or whatever. And so it just, it blasts cold or blasts heat all the time. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So I think the easiest way to get to this thing is going to be to take the glove box out. And you've got these little push fasteners. They just pull up. Um, you can just get in here with the screwdriver. And just be real careful. I have a tool for these. It's out at the shop. I think I can get it with just a screwdriver like that. Um, and then once that center part pulls out, this part will come out. So I'm going to go, you got three down here. You got uh, one, two, looks like three up top, and then you need to pull your light out. And unplug your wires and push your wires back through. And that, and then we'll pull the glove box out. So I'm gonna do that real quick. All right, there was four of those push fasteners up top, and then there's two screws that hold your latch up top, two Phillips screws, so take those out. Once those are out, wires are undone, three push, excuse me, three push fasteners down here, four up top. Now you can kind of gently, you know, because this thing could be brittle, gently try to wiggle this thing out of here. And it's gonna be a tight fit. And we'll feed our wires out for our light. And then we can just set this, come on, set this out of the way. And so there's a good view of this vacuum diaphragm. And uh, this is one of the ones that's an issue, I think, on my car. And there's another one over there. I'm not sure if you could replace those from here. Uh, but there they are. Um, let me get y'all a better view. All right, so in here, yeah, it's gonna be a tight fit trying to view. It looks like, so this thing is supposed to have a tube, I think, that goes over to here and it is not connected 
I don't know if it just slid undone or if there's a piece of it missing, but that should be connected to there. And I think that feeds air. I don't know if it's outside air or what to that sensor. So from the, I don't know, it's a whole system here and there's part of it missing. So we'll need to probably see about getting a piece from the parts car because it's not connected. This should be connected to that. So let's see if we can get over to where that sensor is to um, take a look at it. And we're gonna pull this vent out to get it out of our way. All right, that's off. I just grab it and kind of try to pull straight out on it and it just pops loose. So now that that's loose, we're gonna try to get this vent out. We're gonna have to get it off of that boot and uh, try to get it out of there. All right, that boot just slips on the back side of it and uh, right there. And once you get it off, you can kind of, that boot is very flexible. You just kind of push the vent in and you can pull it out through the glove box area. Now, when we look down in here, we can fold this down. You can kind of see back in there, let's get y'all's light where that thing is. All right, so if you look in here, there, there it is. And if you see, it is pulled out. That thing should be up in there. And it also looks like it might be missing a piece of it. So let's, we can come up through the bottom here. And see if we can get up. No, we can't. Um, yeah, it's definitely broken. So let me let me deal with getting this thing out of here. One of my parts car is broken too, and I think that's that's the issue with our climate control. So the sensor is broken off, and I think that's we're gonna have to solder it back together and get it back up in there. Well, I couldn't get the vent piece out. Uh, I'm scared of messing this one up. Um, I did get it out of the parts car, and I'll go get it and I'll show you. And I, the this the actual sensor piece is not not in here. Um, it's fallen somewhere, I guess. So I'm gonna go to the parts car. I uh, pulled this tube off uh, that goes into that. We're gonna get this whole set up where we can get this all connected like it's supposed to be and we're gonna have to repair the sensor on my parts car and see if we can make it work so in my parts car this was in there connecting those tubes together and so this is I guess somebody's fix I guess that's a hose that rots off and that's what somebody else put on it For now, I'm just gonna put that on mine. Mine evidently was working without that. So, um, yeah, we're just gonna put it on there and I think it'll be okay. So, uh, yeah, cause it had just a short tube as well. Now the sensor, I think I set it down here. Here's the sensor off the parts car. So we're gonna have to piece this back together and then solder it, the connections together because those traces are broke. So we'll repair the board first and then probably just jumper a wire from there to there on each side to restore the connection. It's probably gonna be the easiest way. 
All right, <clears throat> there's our repair, or partial repair, at least getting it back together. And what I did is I scraped away with a knife to review, reveal the uh, trace on the board. And after I did that, along the crack, I put just a dab of super glue and used the super glue to glue the board back together. And because it's quick, you know, it, you touch together, hold it a few seconds, and then it's glued together. And then on the back side, what I did is I took some JB Quick. And you can see it's not touching the contacts. And I went across the back of the crack and then just kind of glob some on to kind of strengthen the board. And that should give us some strength in the board. And so the super glue was just to kind of piece it back together so that I could you know, allow the JB weld to dry. And the super glue, you know, provides some strength to it as well. So now that that's set up, I'm gonna go take and solder, extend the solder over to uh, that those traces, and then we should be uh, ready to put this thing back in. And there's our finished repair. It is soldered, I've checked resistance here, and then compared it to here and it's it's a little different but um you know there's going to be some resistance in this but we're definitely making contact and um should be good to go so i've got some super glue i'm gonna put some super glue all along this edge right here and put this thing and put it back up in the dash and glue it back in place and that should make this thing work and after that super glue sets up, we'll plug the plug back in and we'll hook that tube back up. All right, so you've got this piece that just pulls off and then you can pull this piece up out of the dash. So that's what we've done. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one out of my car. Um, doesn't really matter, it just, I don't know. No real reason, but mine just looks a little better. I'm gonna clean it up just a little bit and uh, not much, just a little bit, and we'll put it back in there. All right, so I cleaned up the one from the parts car. The, it was just not wanting to fit um, together. You know, this piece originally came with this. These no, originally were mated together and um, it did not want to mate with the one off of my car. So we're gonna keep the two together. Let's put a little more. Problem is, you know, my fingers were touching this and taking the super glue off of it, so that's why we're having to put more on it. And I've got super glue all on my fingers. But I should be able to snap this together now. Yeah, I wouldn't have gotten that back together on the car and I think I figured out how this thing works so that tube what that does I think it sucks air and so it sucks a little bit of air through here through that tube and that's how it knows the uh, temperature it's sucking in air it's not just a sensor that sits no air it's pulling air out of the car through that by that sensor so it's definitely gonna be more accurate with the <laughs> um, with it connected up like it should so we're gonna go ahead and uh, put this thing back in there and then we will push this back up on there just like that I'm gonna take a rag and wipe off that excess um, Super glue to make sure it doesn't super glue this piece on. All right, it's in. You know, this this piece isn't ideal, but um, we will get something else. I'm gonna have to get a piece of uh, hose or something to put in there, but for now, uh, we'll use that. It's better than what it had <laughs> and uh, should work. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put the vent back in. And I grabbed an extra vent. This one's actually broken. 
And so I think I'll take some time and maybe change this one out. If I can get it out through here, I don't know if I can. You know what, I'll probably just leave it alone. Um, we'll see. I might might try to change it out if I, I, I would have been wise to change it out before I pop this thing in there, but we'll see. All right. Those boots aren't too bad to get on uh, that connect to these vents. Not too bad, but they, they are not super easy. You got to work with it. I came up on this side, came up under the dash and through the side and got it on. And I went ahead and took this back off to do it. And that just made things a lot easier. And then this one um, went on pretty easy. So much better. And now I got a working vent here that I pulled off of my parts car. Of course, uh, my center vents don't work. So it's just for looks, I guess, until I get the diaphragms fixed. But that's for another day. So let me get the glove box back in and I'll have to do some testing and then I'll report back to y'all. But um, yeah, until I test it, uh, which will be right now. Well, engine is mostly up to temp. And if I go, they're not automatic. If I go all the way pretty much to heat, I'm getting heat and it just kicked up the blower. Now if I back it away, what we should do is we should get AC. You heard the blower just kick down and it's blowing cold again. It is working perfectly. And I mean, I'll see how it works. I might replace that tube and probably I'll leave it alone until I have the dash part again. And I'll keep that in my, in my memory that I need to come up with a better tube for that. But for right now it's working and my climate control worked good before that sensor broke and that tube was not there. So um, I'm sure it wasn't working as good as it would with the tube, but with the blower going, I can feel a little air getting sucked in through here, just slightly. But it's definitely working. So I'm happy with that. Didn't have to buy anything. Uh, we did pull the sensor out of my parts car, but if I looked around under my dash, I bet somewhere I could find that sensor, but I'd have to tear apart my dash probably to find it because it's, it's gotta be there somewhere. But uh, we got the one out of the parts car, we repaired it. Of course, you know, it was broken. And, uh, you know, went ahead and replaced this vent that was broken. It was also missing the trim ring around here. So did that and good to go. Thanks for watching. Leave a comment down below, hit the like button and subscribe for more.